claim Vince McMahon. And uh, recently, though, he came under fire against Denise Salicato. He really hates this woman. I have no idea why. Did she turn him down? Did she say his dick is too small? What the fuck? Did, what did she say to him to get him this angry? Take a look at the outrage. They, they I, don't invite, I don't get invited. I don't get invited anymore. They get five and six fucking passes, but JD can't. I, I, I don't. I, let, let, let me tell you something. I'm the biggest fucking stream. Now Jesse's got me pissed. I'm the biggest fucking live stream every single fucking week to cover this fucking show. And then they don't invite me because I'm a little too real for them. The roster, some of the roster don't like me because of the things that I said. Tough shit. Tough. Tough shit. You, you You're not going to hear from the fucking guy that signs your goddamn paychecks. You're going to hear nope. from someone that gives a fuck. Nope. Blacklist is all you want. You're fucking snowflakes. We got over 3,000 strong. Who else is this live right now on YouTube? I remember. It was easy. They gave me passes like that. You, it's like pulling teeth with these fucking people. They don't, they don't want to know you anymore because you're a little too real for them. Oh, he's not with us. I never said I was against you. It's because you're a fucking asshole who shits on everybody. Everybody who's a peer of you, you shit on them. Yep. That's why nobody wants to fucking work with you except for maybe BC Amplified. That's like the only one that wants to fucking work with your whack ass. <laughs> Pretty much. Besides that, you're a hated individual. You're somebody who has so much heat behind their name. And you wonder why people hate you. You wonder why Tony Khan will never hire you. You wonder why Triple H would never think of putting you in a position of power. Because you said it there yourself. You think that you're the god of the internet. You think when you say something that it must happen. And what are you learning? You're learning these promoters aren't taking your advice. They're not taking your dream booking. Why? Because it fucking sucks dick. Because you're an uncreative little bastard. Damn. And you keep on shitting on anybody who could help you. It doesn't make you realer than them. It just makes you a pariah. It just makes you another asshole out there who nobody wants to listen to. Who has dropping followers every single year. Because people are finding out about better podcasts that are live and more creative and original than yours. Like this one, for example. <laughs> yeah. They're finding out about that. JD is a thing of the past. But at least he's finally coming to the realization that Tony Khan books for himself. Way to go, JD. Yeah, you finally fucking realized that two years after we did. Hey, motherfucker, the check stopped clearing. <laughs> so uh, he was saying that the stars, they're never going to get a chance. So here's what he said. There's a report going around on Twitter that indicates the Bloodline song is officially taking a breather. It was also said it's a big test for WWE superstars to step up. It's not up to the staffs. They always deliver. They were never really given anything substantial. Yeah, and what are they going to get? Like, what's going to replace Roman Reigns? We saw what happened in the same situation back during the pandemic. Drew McIntyre and Becky Lynch could not carry Rock. No. Nobody else stepped up in that time period. Seth Rollins was doing his stupid fucking Messiah gimmick that wasn't getting over. Nope. Nobody was doing anything cool. They... Hurt business, but they weren't getting any feature. And what does Cody Rhodes mean for Raw? Means Nothing. failure. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. There's no one. There's literally no one. That's the problem with Triple H's booking. Is that he wanted to shove, he wanted to give these fucking black and gold dorks a chance, and it came at the detriment of building stars. He doesn't care as long no. as he's getting his way. That's what it's all about that's, for Nose Man. That's the problem, and, that, and that's Triple H. He's not catering to the fans. He's giving what he wants. Exactly. That's exactly. the thing. And, and, it's and, selfish. And JD will eventually come to that realization. Oh, Triple H, does, he is fucking selfish. He is booking for himself. And about a year from now, you'll see that. Right. It's going to take some time. I mean, but right, right now, all the people that he likes seeing get pushed are getting pushed, and that's all he cares about. I mean, he even goes so far as to blame Vince, because that's what he does best. Yeah. So uh, he was saying that another weekend we got Indy Hartwell, Candice LeRae, and Piper Niven on the show. All talented Vince kept off the show before his spinal surgery. Yeah. Hey, JD, how did the ratings for those shows pan out? Like shit. Like they're down a lot from Vince's shows. Massively. Yeah. He, he doesn't get it. He doesn't look at the fact that SmackDown recently dropped below two, did it? It dropped, it dropped under 2.1. Under 2.1, that's so bad. Mm -hmm. For sure, that was steadily doing 2.3 to 2.5 to drop to 2.1. Mm -hmm. Not good, man. And a lot of it's because he brought back no talents like these. Well, Piper's not bad, but she's the, not a superstar. She's yeah. not a superstar. No. She doesn't move the needle. No. 
Uh, and this guy, he loves himself so much that if a wrestler shares his initials, he's going to be jacking off to them. What is J.D. McDonough? With the right direction and influence, he is going to be a star on Monday night. No. I'm happy to see Sami Zayn healthy enough to wrestle. Last week's injury looks sick. Very good TV match. They'll just be the same black and gold darling dorks that like that shit, that, that jerk off to take over matches, thinking about them. Those are the same people that are going to be fans of J.D. Madonna. He's not going to, no casual viewer is going to look at J.D. Madonna and think that's a star. He's going to have some of the lowest rated segments of the year. Of course. When they join him up with Judgment Day. When he has to actually wrestle single ma singles matches as part of Judgment Day, you're going to see how much of a failure this guy it's is. It's not a good fit. It really him, isn't. Him and Judgment Day is not a good fit. No. Well, none of JD's choices are good fits. I mean, he was recently talking about how awesome it was to see Nakamura versus Bronson Reed. Very nice match between Nakamura and Bronson Reed. It looks like we may have moved on from that stupid and very Vince-like angle with Nakamura going heel and feuding with Champa. Nakamura is best suited as a babyface until he decides to hang the boots up. Bruce. What? 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 He's looking to have a job in WWE. He should be in New Japan, okay? Hey, Nakamura's 42. Same thing with Bronson Reed. Send both of those fuckers back to New Japan. Yeah, they suck. They were pushed as fucking mid-carters in New Japan. And, and again, how is it panning out for the ratings? Right. Like, that's the thing that they don't even look at is both of these guys, Bronson and Shinsuke, were mid-carters in New Japan. They were not top stars. No. And we're expected, oh, they left New Japan. Why aren't they huge stars? Because they were never fucking stars to begin with. No, they're just overhyped, boring schmucks. But that's what JD does best, is overhype the fuck out of everything. But he's not alone. No, there's a lot of other idiots out there. And one of them goes by the name of Meatwad. So it is Meatwad time. Wow. And we're going to go ahead and...